हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वेस्ट वाटर नाउ क्वेश्चन अराइज इज दैट व्हाई वी वांट टू ट्रीट द वेस्ट वाटर बिकॉज वी डोंट वांट दिस वाटर फॉर द ड्रिंकिंग पर्पस नाउ व्हाई वी वांट टू ट्रीट दैट वेस्ट वाटर बिकॉज वी वांट सर्टेन पैरामीटर्स लिमिट टू बी कम्स अंडर permissible range so that when we dispose that waste water into the natural water bodies it will not cause severe pollution in the natural water bodies that's why we are going to done the treatment of waste water clear to all now there will be three types of treatment that is the preliminary or primary treatment also called as physical or one degree treatment and is used to remove solid material from the incoming waste water it means that primary treatment is only done to remove the solid material that is grit stones pebbles from the waste water now secondary treatment is generally done or it is also known as biological treatment or two degree treatment usually consist of biological conversion of dissolved and colloidal organics into biomass here we are just going to decompose the organic matter into biomass that can be subsequently removed in the next process that is sedimentation clear now the next process or the next treatment process will be tertiary treatment also known as chemical treatment also called as three degree treatment most often involves further removal of suspended solids and the removal of nutrients from the water but we never go for the tertiary treatment because tertiary treatment is generally required when we want to use that waste water for the drinking purpose but in india we don't go for the drinking water or we don't want to treat the waste water for the drinking purpose that's why we never go for the tertiary treatment clear to all now the first method in the primary or preliminary treatment is screening we had already discussed that screening in the drinking water treatment process and the same screening will be there also okay now the screen is a device with openings generally uniform in size placed across the floor to retain floating core solids okay why we are using this screen because we want to remove certain larger particles that is stones grits dead bodies plants okay so for the removal of that type of particle we generally use screening here now why we want to use this screening because it helps to reduce the loads on the subsequent treatment unit it means that it will help in in the processes of grit chamber as well as detritus tank as well as sedimentation tank activated sludge process and all the other processes which is coming after screening process now screening is of two types first one is the coarse screen it is also known as trash screen and here the spacing between the bars is 2200 mm and the bar size is 25 mm diameter similarly the fine screen is also known as mesh screen its whole size is less than 10 mm clear and here the head loss value is given as 0.0729 v square minus u square that is the v is the velocity after screen and u is the velocity before screen okay or we just say that or we just say that head loss will be equals to 0.0729 u square minus v square okay that will be the u will be the velocity after screen and v will be the velocity before screen that is the head loss formula okay so we will go for this formula of head loss that is 0.0729 u square minus v square where u is the velocity after screening and v is the velocity before screen now why this is velocity u is larger than velocity v because we know that q is equals to av that is continuity equation now here discharge is constant so area is directly or sorry area is inversely proportional to the velocity okay now if we increase the area what will be its effect on velocity it will decrease the velocity now when we provide the inclination to the screen what will happen the surface area will increase and due to increase in surface area the velocity gets reduced that's why v will be less as compared to u that's why we are going to use the head loss formula 0.0729 u square minus v square clear to all 
Now the next process will be the grid chamber or detritus tank. Now grid removal basins such as grid chamber or grid channels or detritus tanks are the sedimentation basins placed in front of the wastewater treatment plant to remove the inorganic particle. Why we want to use the grid chamber? To remove the inorganic particles whose specific gravity is 2.65 such as sand, gravel, grit, eggshells, bones and other materials that may clog channels or damage pumps. That's why we will use the grid chamber or detritus tank. Now, generally grid chambers are designed to remove all particles of higher specific gravity of 2.65 or so. It means that grid chamber is generally used to remove the higher specific gravity particle that is 2.65 or greater with a nominal diameter of 0.2 mm and more having the size 0.2 mm or more having settling velocity of about 0.25 meter per second it means that the velocity in the grid chamber is generally kept as 0.25 meter per second now it is not at all desirable to remove any organic matter okay any organic matter in the grid chamber because no further treatment of removed grit is provided. That's why we don't want the removal of any type of organic matter. Otherwise, it will pollute the environment when we directly throw the grits and all the waste from the grit chamber into the atmosphere or into the environment. Clear? Now, the grit channels must be designed to remove the heavier grit particles only. Clear? Now, detritus tanks are nothing. We had discussed the grid chamber. Now, we will discuss the detritus tank. Detritus tank are nothing but rectangular grid chamber designed to flow with a smaller flow velocity. Here, we want the removal of particle on larger basis as compared to grid chamber. That's why we will keep the velocity on a lower side with a longer detention period of about 3 to 4 minute and the velocity will be equals to 0 0.09 meter per second. So as to separate out not only the larger grid but also to separate out very fine sand particles. That's why we will keep the velocity lesser as compared to grid chamber and provided with longer detention time. Clear? Now in grid chamber detention time is 30 to 90 seconds but in detritus tank the detention time is 3 to 4 minutes. Velocity of flow is 0.15 to 0.35 meter per second, generally kept as 0.25 meter per second. But in detritus tank, the velocity generally kept as 0.09 meter per second. Now, the general length of both the tanks are same, that is 15 to 20 meter. Width and depth is also same, that is 1.5 meter. Now, if we want to calculate the settling velocity of the particles or grade, then it can be computed by the Stokes law. That will be known as rho g d square upon 18 mu into g minus 1. Okay, we had already used that formula in the sedimentation tank of water treatment unit. Here also the formula is same. That is rho g d square upon 18 mu into g minus 1 for diameter less than 0.1. This is known as Stokes law. Clear? Now, the another formula which will be used rarely is the last two formulas. That is Newton's law when particle is greater than 1 mm and the last one is Hazen's modified equation. Hazen's modified equation. But these two formulas will be used very rarely. Only the Stokes law will be used mostly. Okay. Now, skimming tank will be there. That is the next unit. Now, why we used skimming tank in the treatment process? Because to remove the oil and grease from the sewage. That's why they are placed before the sedimentation tank. Therefore, when sewage contains too much of grease or oil, we generally need sediment, sorry, skimming tank. Okay. Now, skimming tanks are employed for removing oil and grease from the sewage and placed before the sedimentation tank. 
दे आर देयर फॉर यूज वेयर सीवेज कंटेन्स टू मच ऑफ ग्रीस और ऑयल्स इट मीन्स दैट वेन सीवेज कंटेन्स टू मच ऑफ ऑयल एंड ग्रीस वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड द स्कीमिंग टैंक फॉर द रिमूवल ऑफ ऑयल एंड ग्रीस Now, oil and grease have to be removed from the sewage, else it will delay the biological treatment by microorganism. If we don't remove the oil and grease, then the biological treatment will be delayed. Okay. Now, a detention period of about three to five minutes is usually usually sufficient, and the amount of compressed air required is about three hundred to six thousand meter cube per million liter of sewage. Suppose that. we have a large container here containing waste water from the sewers okay now that water will contain oil and grease at the top like this and remaining water will be like this now at the bottom there will be some holes which is generally provided or there will be some equipment which is generally provided for sending the compressed air for sending the compressed air now at the top there will be a skimmer like this there will be a skimmer like this having cups at regular interval and it will connect with a channel like this which will dispose all the oil and remove in a oil and grease in a container okay now when this skimmer will revolve like this we will supply compressed air from bottom now this compressed air will take all the grease and oil particle to the surface and from the surface it will be come into this cups and from this cups it will come to the topmost point and during the downward journey of skimmer all the oil and grease will come into that channel and from that channel it will be stored in a particular container which is kept outside that large container okay now in this way we had removed the oil and grease from the sewage water clear now that is the skimming tank now we can move to the next process that is sedimentation tank we had already discussed the sedimentation tank in the water treatment unit and the same sedimentation tank will be used in the waste water treatment also now the sedimentation is the settling of particles in water due to particle size specific gravity of particles viscosity of water and acceleration due to gravity now settling velocity we had already discussed that stokes law is used for the calculation of settling velocity and it will be equals to rho g d square upon 18 mu into g minus 1 for diameter less than 0.1 now we all know that what is overflow velocity or loading rate and what is horizontal flow velocity or flow through velocity okay we had already discussed this topic in detail in the water treatment unit so we will directly use the formula that is vh will be equals to l by t and it will be equals to discharge upon length into or it will be equals to discharge upon height into width clear now similarly v not will be equals to h upon t which will be equals to discharge upon l into b which is which will be also known as discharge upon surface area one more formula will be there that is the efficiency formula it will be equals to the output upon input into 100 that is vs upon v not into 100 so we had shown all this formula that is length into width into time height upon time similarly v not will be equals to discharge upon surface area vh will be equals to discharge upon b into h and efficiency will be equals to vs upon v not into 100 that will be all about the preliminary treatment of waste water thank you very much students